So this video is a quick shout out to Andy Lau who left me a message yesterday on my last video where I was looking at the tarmac and the Roubaix. Could you have a look at the new Rose Bikes X Lite 4 and do a comparison against the tarmac? Well, I thought that was a pretty good idea because I haven't done much with Rose Bikes. Like I say, real quick one. This is obviously the tarmac that we looked at yesterday and this is the Rose X Lite 4 disc. Ultegra Di2. Priced in euros but it works out at about three grand which is 500 quid cheaper than the tarmac. Good old rows they put their weights on and it comes in at 7.2 kilograms. Now for that money bear in mind that the tarmac is mechanical Ultegra. With the Rose X Lite 4 not only do you get discs but you get Ultegra Di2 as well and you know how much it weighs. So if we do a bit of a comparison between the two just on the wide shot to start with there's the tarmac and there's the X Lite 4. So so there's a few things that stand out. Let's just zoom in on the cockpit area. I had quite a lot of trouble lining up these rose pictures. They they seem to have been shot quite differently to the specialized ones, but I've got them as close as I can. And Obviously looking at that you can see that the head tube of the, the Rose bike is quite a lot taller. So I don't know whether they're sort of aiming more at the sportive market or whether people race these, I don't know, maybe you can tell me that. Obviously it's got the disc brakes and it's obviously got the Di2. So it's in pretty good value for money. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the tarmac, but I would wager that even for more money, less well kitted out, I would say that the tarmac will probably be heavier just because I know that Specialized, from my own experience, I had to change a lot of things on my bike to get the weight down because things like the stem and the handlebars all weighed a ton. I definitely prefer the clean lines of the tarmac, but hey, the rose looks, you know. It looks like a nice bike and it's very well specced out and a good price, so yeah, maybe not as good looking as the tarmac, but I would say definitely great value for money. Obviously without riding these bikes it's incredibly difficult to uh, know what the ride quality will be like. Keep an eye out for some reviews on the Rose bike. I'm not sure how long the x lite has been out for. If you know that, put it in the comments below. So there is a, another option, and that is the x lite 6 disc Ultegra Di2. Now this comes with what appears to be better quality carbon and looking at just the frame it weighs 100 grams less, The uh, this one the 6, and for that you're paying an extra 700 pounds which is 200 pounds more than the tarmac that we were looking at. But if we do a quick flick between the 6 and the 4, again I've got these lined up absolutely as closely as I can but there's still a little bit of a movement there in the frame. But immediately what you see is it comes with some deeper section wheels which is always nice they look they look about right to me probably handle the wind pretty well looks like they're Ross uh, Ross they look like Rose's home brand but apart from that the rest of the kit all looks exactly the same really so you're paying an extra 700 pounds for it to be 100 grams lighter presumably a bit stiffer but again, you've got the Ultegra Di2, so yeah, lovely bike. Now you can buy these, both these bikes, without discs, so with the rim brake version. Um, but discs are beginning to gain traction, I think. There's more pros riding on them now. I think it's becoming time to start thinking about, if you are looking to buy a new bike, to buy it with discs. I wouldn't necessarily think about buying a new bike just to get discs, but if you are thinking about a new bike, probably discs are the way to go because in a couple of years time we will find it funny that we actually bought bikes or rode bikes where the brakes were constantly wearing down the rim of the wheel because, you know, with our expensive carbon wheels that's stupid to be wearing them down all the time. There's no getting away from the fact that discs have more stopping power and if you ride mountain bikes you know they're better. So it's a done deal as far as I can tell. So there we go, that's the x Lite 4 and the x Lite 6. They both look like a pretty good buy. Like I say, look out for someone doing a review on the ride quality. Or, again, you've got the tarmac right in the middle, price-wise. So there we go. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have some bikes that you'd like compared, put it in the comment below, and I'll maybe do a shout-out for you. And please subscribe to my channel.